So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, what, we, um, what we're going to go over is going to go over dividing. And basically to do dividing, what we need to kind of remember is what we did for multiplying um, fractions. And if you guys remember, at the beginning of the class, um, we practiced multiplying fractions. And if we multiply fractions, then we multiply, we multiply, does anybody remember how to multiply fractions? Straight, yeah? Across. Straight across, right? You just go like this. You multiply straight across. All right? That was the biggest thing that I wanted to make sure that we got rid of in our system was this cross multiplying behavior, right? We don't cross multiply when we multiply fractions. We, mul we cross multiply, Nick, please. We cross multiply when we're solving a proportion, um, which is called a cross product. But when multiplying fractions, we just multiply cross. Then it came up to the problem when we divide fractions. Oh, that's a bad example, but whatever. So if you guys remember dividing fractions, we don't really actually didn't divide fractions. Instead of what we did was we rewrote it something. Does anybody remember how we rewrote it? Yeah, yeah. What we ended up doing was we multiplied by the reciprocal of your divisor. So if you guys remember, the divisor is what you're dividing into your other numbers. So I have 1 third divided by the 4 halves. So what I'm dividing by is my divisor. So I'm going to reciprocate. I'm going to reciprocate that. Oops. And when I reciprocate it, I turn it into a multiplication problem. Then you guys can go ahead and multiply across. So on this example, ladies and gentlemen, here is my divisor. I'm going to be doing the exact same thing. All right. I'm going to take 6x plus 6 divided by 7 and multiply it by its reciprocal. OK? Oh, yeah. Wait, I wrote it like this. Is this right? No, we're going to get to that. Yeah, you're, you're kind of moving step forward. But the main important thing is the first thing, before you even get to your step, is you've got to rewrite it as a multiplication problem. Oh. So to do that, we got to rewrite it. Yep. Yep. You always flip your divisor. What you're dividing by. Okay. Never what you're dividing. No. Okay. So now we simply are just going to apply again our factoring. Up here, I can factor out a six, so I'm left with x plus one um, times over seven. Over here, I have x minus two over. Uh, factor out of four. <coughs> It's a little, little too loud, guys, for me to be going over this. So therefore, I have now an x plus 1 by factor on a 4. So therefore, you guys can see here, I can divide out the x plus 1s. And then can I reduce 6 fourths? Because 4 doesn't divide into 6 evenly. But can I reduce that yeah. to three. 3 halves? Right? So now, I look at this. What I have left is 3 over x minus 2. And then I have 7 times 2, which is 14. And then if we go back to what does x cannot equal, the only constraint of my problem that x cannot equal here um, is divided into is x cannot equal a positive 2. Going back to my original problem, what could x not be, right? x cannot equal a positive 2. Sure, I got one last problem, though, if you want to wait for it. <laughs> 